cap and a stem, catch a wave on a splish. Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment. I'm Luke Skywalking on these haters. Hey guys, it's Mikaya. Welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're not, thank you so much for joining me again today. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this will be my full coverage foundation routine for fall, winter, not really for summer, but for sure for fall and winter. Um, as you can see, I'm rocking my natural hair. Yes, natural hair teeth, okay? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey guys, so of course before putting on any foundation, you want to moisturize your skin because you don't want it to be all extra dry up under. So I'm using the Pond's Cream and Nourishing Moisturizer and this is for dry skin. I typically have, you know, more combination skin, but as it starts to get cold outside, my skin does get dry, so I am using this. Okay, now this next step you do not have to do if you don't have discoloration, but I do. So I take a flat like concealer brush and I go into my Anastasia contour kit and I use that orange shade and it just cancels out my discoloration around my mouth. So when I put down my foundation, it can just blend and you know, look even. You don't want to have like, you know, dark areas up under your foundation, if you understand what I'm saying. And I'm just going to blend this out with a Kabuki dense brush. I just find that it distributes the product better. Now for foundation. Um, I know in my Rihanna Fenty review I said that this color was like perfect for me. But it does still have kind of a kind of a reddish tone. And my skin tone is neutral but yellow as well. And the foundation is neutral. But it kind of has a kind of like a teensy small bit of red in it. So I just take my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade C7. And I just mix it with the Fenty foundation in the shade 410. Because the 410 foundation is a tad bit darker than me as well. Um, but the shade next to that was I think lighter. Lighter than me. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah I mix these two to get the coverage that I want as well. Okay, now for this next part, I know that some people use a concealer to go above their eyebrows, but I don't really like the highlighted effect above my eyebrow. I like it more under my eyebrow, so I do take my foundation with a foundation brush and I just, you know, trace my eyebrow and then I go in with my beauty blender and just blend that out around my hairline. I don't really like to use the brush on my forehead because it gets like all in my hair. But now we're going to contour. I'm using the second darkest shade in the ABH contour kit with a, what is this, like a contour brush. I don't know, I got it from Morphe, but that's what I'm using. And I'm just going to contour my face or, you know, lay the contour down where I want it. So that's in the hollows of the cheeks, on the jawline. Um, on the size of my forehead because my forehead is not that big so I don't really contour it I just feel like I have to to tie it all together and then on the size of my nose I use the lighter contour shade now I'm not sure what happened to the clip of me contouring or blending out my contour with the brush but I do always go back in with the beauty blender just to make sure that it's extra blended you don't want it to be um, super harsh or I have super harsh lines. So that's why I do that. So I do know that a lot of people use concealer to go back up under their um, contour, but I don't like when it's like extra light or super light up under there. So I just use my foundation and I just take that, the excess foundation that's already on the brush and just go up under that contour and blend it out with the beauty blender. And now for my favorite part of the makeup look is the highlight, you guys. I just feel like a highlight is what completely changes your whole look. I feel like just foundation, you just look flat faced. 
<laughs> I hate to be rude, but you know, some people, they just wear foundation. I don't understand it. Like, I can't do that. I'd rather just have everything or nothing. But I wear the uh, Tarte. Yeah, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and Tan Sand up under my eyes. And then on the bridge of my nose, um, my cupid's bow and my forehead, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. And I always set it with the Laura Mercier setting powder. Of course, this is like my favorite setting powder of all times. I have tried the Sasha Buttercup, but I only tried it once. Or I, you know, I owned the product once and after that I never purchased it again. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender My black one now. Um, I use the pink one for my face and the black one for my Concealer, I don't know. I just don't like when I have the foundation all over my fingers When I try to blend out my concealer, but you can always use the same one. It's just me being extra picky Now, once I get done blending out my concealer, I always go in with the same brush that I use to contour. And I just blend out those side, those lines that are on the side of my eyes. Just because it, it kind of looks funny when it's just like that super harsh line from the concealer. And then I go ahead and set my concealer or everywhere that I place the concealer up under my eyes. I'm going to keep this bow on my chin, um, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, everywhere. And then I go up under the contour on the sides of my face just to, you know, give that some extra chiseled effect. Um, and yeah. Now with this fluffy Real Techniques brush, I'm just gonna blend away all that excess setting powder. Um, yeah, you don't wanna just leave that sitting there. That's not cute. So now it is time to set that contour slash bronze. I'm using my MAC Studio Fix powder. Not sure what the shade is. I do know it's NW though. It has to be like NW. 35 or like NW NW 40 or something like that but I'm using that to set my contour as well as bronze lately I've been liking a more light contour not as like you know dark like a dark brown um yeah I love this shade I love this shade so now by this time I know what you're thinking she looks like a ghost all extra powdery powdery and whatnot but we're gonna get rid of that real quick we're using some setting spray this is the urban decay chill setting spray i think that's what it's called um i just spray it all over my face and i take my beauty blender and just blend all the setting spray in i don't know what it does to me but it just gives me this really nice blurring effect and it just makes my skin look more skin like if you understand what i'm saying not as powdery um, and then I'm going to take my favorite bronzer. Not sure what it's called right now because I'm actually um, recording this voiceover in the car. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with my blush. This is Sweetest Cocoa Blush by MAC. Just going to place that on my cheeks. Um, I will have all of the products that I'm using listed down in the description box. So don't forget to check that out because I don't remember all of the products that I'm using. And I, I just can't. So I'm just going to use that. And then we're going to Highlight Honey. This is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Highlighter Palette with Nicole Guerrero. It's the collab that they did. And I'm using the shade 143 to highlight my brow bone as well as, you know, the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And then my cupid's bow and my cheeks or my cheekbones. 
You know what I'm saying. So after I'm finished highlighting, I either use setting spray or just like am completely done by that time. I'm just going to finish up my face and come back to you guys. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, I hope I helped you with your foundation routine. Can't wait to do this 30K giveaway, you guys. So don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, my lovelies. Mwah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any comments that you have down below. Also, I will be doing a 30K giveaway as soon as we hit 30K subbies. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, thank you so much for all of the love and support. And yeah, I just can't wait. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.